Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, before I start episode 7 of Comparison and Opinion, you guys probably can't read that. Um, just an update. So, I, I like I said before, my dad's test did come back and positively stuck in his room. Um, but my test, my mom, my sister, our test did come back negative. But because of that, and because my dad has, we have to wait. 10, 14 days because we can still develop symptoms and if we do have to get tested again. So, yeah, I'm still sleeping on the futon or couch, but fine with that. Now, and um, your prayers uh, will be much appreciated. I'm not sure if you are praying or not. You don't have to say if you are, um, but if you are, it's much appreciated. All right. So, Comparison and Opinion Episode 7, and it's How to Train Your Dragon Week. It's also the first week of Animation Month, and the only reason I'm doing How to Train Your Dragon Week is in Animation Month is because it is animated. Um, so I'll be doing these four videos, and then I'll, next week I will get to some other animated stuff from DreamWorks and Disney. Alright, so, episode 7. You may be asking, who am I comparing? Who? Well, let's see, who have I compared? Well, um, the first episode, I did... Well, Yes, first week I did Snob about Fish Legs and Alvin the Treacherous. The week after that I did Stoic, Gopper, and Velka. And this week I am doing the three main characters in the franchise and two of the main characters in the book just because the person Astrid and Astrid Toothless Hiccup with Kamikaze Toothless and Hiccup. And this week it's Astrid and Kamikaze. And the reason I said two main characters is because um, Kamikaze is not a main character in the book. She's more of a companion, where Astrid is the main female role in the franchise. And like I mentioned before, if you have not seen the series or read the books, there will be spoilers. And for those of you who have, it will be a review. Alright, so. Let's start with Astrid and the ages. And yes, I have different colored markers now. So, the first movie, um, as you may have noticed with the with Snot Loud and... I wanted Tough Night Muffin, but I didn't do Tough Night Muffin just because Tough Night is in the books, but he's not actually a character. He's just there to make the group bigger. And Rough Nut isn't in the books, but as you will see, Kamikaze does have similar qualities to Rough Nut and Astrid. So, in the first book... Astrid, um, sorry, movie, is 15, and like I said, you guys probably cannot read that, um, is 15, like most of the Dragon Mars, except, um, Fish Legs is apparently a year younger than them, um, and she's also 15 in Riders slash Defenders of Burke, um, in Race to the Edge, she is like most of them. 18. Oh, and there goes my marker. Okay. And then, in the second movie, again, like most of them, she is 20. Okay. 20. And then, in the third movie, as you know, it's a year later, which makes her 21. And then, in the Homecoming, which this is really the only thing I'm covering for shorts, because the shorts sometimes fill in stuff, or they don't. Um, homecoming, actually, um, this one I'm counting because I have seen it. I've only seen three, but I'm counting Homecoming just because it's it brings more to the story. And it kind of is the end of how these characters got along after the events of the third movie. I just realized she has, Ash has the exact same initials as my sister. And so I mean she's 30. Alright. Now. So we have her ages. So now, um, who is Astrid? Well, um, Astrid, and eh, I shouldn't have done that. Okay. Astrid, um, if you've seen the series, is Hiccup's main love interest in the show, in the, in the movie. 
The first movie, Amy Rise Train is broken, and the first three seasons are Race to the Edge. After that, um, she's his girlfriend slash betrothed, and then in the epilogue, his wife. And that's the main difference between them, is Astrid's hiccups love interest in the show, when in the book there really is no love interest. If you've read the end, but if you've read the epilogue of How to Fight a Dragon's Fury, um, it is mentioned that Hiccup does marry, although we aren't sure who. Now, I took the liberty of writing a fan fiction in which he does marry Kamikaze, but just so you confuse, that's something I wrote. He doesn't actually marry Kamikaze in the book. Kamikaze is one of Hiccup's best friends. Alright, so, who is Astrid? Well, um, the best way to describe her is she is a, she is beautiful despite her tough, rational side. She always does what must be done without regard for herself. She is very skinny. If you've noticed in the first movie, um, her body kind of goes like that. Which is not normal, but then the, but then she's kind of less thin in the rest. And if you may notice, all the Viking all the dragon are all very skinny, except for maybe Snob, but he's just short and fish legs, who's super smart. Um, she has mid back length blonde hair that's in a braid with fringes that initially cover the left side of her face, and she wears a cranson. For those of you who don't know what that is, that's the headband thing. And for those who don't know, that's actually what unmarried Vikings, Viking women would wear, and usually it was passed from mother to daughter. Now, if you've seen the homecoming, you know that Zephyr is wearing a cranson, but so is Astrid. So, that really kind of breaks the theory. And I might actually be part Viking because I am Norwegian, but that doesn't mean I'm part Viking. She also has light blue eyes. I have blue eyes. It's hard for you guys to tell, but I do have blue eyes. Um, she... Oh, I didn't put anything about what she wears. Never mind. Okay. Um, she's smart, striking, dutiful, devoted to her cause. Um, who used to be patriarch of the Viking way. If you've seen the first movie, you know that she isn't, like, she doesn't like dragons. And she, Hiccup meant she changes her mind. And she actually says in the third movie that she is who she is because of Hiccup. And Toothless didn't give him that. Now, if you've seen, Ashid always wears a blue shirt, although in the second of the movie it's red. And then she has like a leather skirt with spikes on it that's red with a black or brown skirt underneath. Then she has like blue leggings and fur boots, which I dress nothing like her. She is competitive by nature um, and highly dedicated to whatever cause she thinks is worthy fighting for. Okay. Now I move on to Kamikaze. She is 11 to 13. Somewhere again, the ages in the books are a little iffy. She's a fierce sword fighter and she's of the Bog Burglar tribe. Now, if you've read the books, you know that Hiccup and Fishlegs are mostly of the Hairy Hooligan tribe, or all of them, except Kamikaze. In fact, Kamikaze is the heir to the Bog Burglar tribe. And she first met Hiccup and Fishlegs in a tower in the Roman fortress because they were stealing heirs to the tribes. I think it, if you've read the book, then you know that Alvin the Treacherous is the thin perfect and that's just his scheme to kill Hiccup, although it never works. She's also hyperactive. Eh, sounds like rough nut. And somewhat overconfident. But she's also brave and loyal. Like Astrid. Um, and Hiccup says in the fourth book, which I actually have here, um, that um, her only fault is that she is pretty much very, very, very pleased with herself. But she does have some really weird talent. She can escape out of anything except the Roman fortress. She can steal some. She's in the fourth book, which I have, like I said, I have here. She steals the underpants off of Stoic without him even noticing. 
And she's also a very good sword fighter, as mentioned. Also, Hiccup is. Um, but now, she's also a small girl with wild blonde hair. Kind of sounds like Astrid. And a ferocious expression. And she does have blue eyes like Astrid. She wears hoop earrings. Um, she has necklaces and bracelets. She has a sword sheath that's almost down to the ground. And she's about a head shorter than Hiccup. If you've seen the book, if you read the book, you know that Hiccup is very skinny and very short, so Kamikaze is quite a bit shorter than him. Now, here is Kamikaze right there. Now, like I said, Kamikaze is of the Bog Burglar tribe, which is an all woman tribe who don't really like men. So she's kind of partial to that way, and Hiccup's kind of partial to the way that she's a girl. So she's not as good as him. Now, also similarly, they both have a dragon named Stormfly. Only difference is, Astrid's is in Deadly Nauta, which actually does not exist in the book. The only species that really exists in the book is a Gronkle and a Monstrous Nightmare. And Astrid's relationship with Stormfly is, well, as you can tell, very, very obvious that they have, very obvious that they are, have that bond that, as you can tell, she was in that one episode in Race to the Edge when Stormfly is poisoned by the slither wings, she cries because of the relationship she has. Now, Kamikaze's Stormfly is a mood dragon, so she changes color based on her moods, and I think she turns to the violet or gold when she lies, and... As you know, in the, if you read the books, the dragons speak dragonese. But Stormfly in the books can also speak Norse. And the only person that can speak dragonese is Hiccup. Um, so, and also, Cam Cassie's Stormfly isn't actually hers. She stole it from, I think... I'm not sure who she stole from, but she stole from someone. Yeah. And it's also kind of ironic because if you saw that one race stage episode where they're flying and then with and Hiccup and Astra and the dragons kind of do a spitty thing with them on them, I just kind of cringed at that because in the book Toothless has a crush on Starfly, so. Yeah. Alright. Now, let's get to the actual comparison thing I need to use. The markers I have not used yet, so. We will go with, and I forgot what I was judging them on. So overall enjoyment, relationship to Hiccup, aftermath, and I think use of material. Um, again, don't remember the fourth one, but I think it's use of material. Yes, so we will start with, oh, that is not how you spell relationship. You don't sub out C-O. Right, let's go. Relationship to Hiccup. Alright. As you know, for Astrid, she is his... I'm going to come over here. You might see my butt for a bit. She is his love interest, his girlfriend, his wife. Whereas for Kamikaze, best friend. Yes. Now, if you were my sister, she would give the point automatically to Kamikaze because my sister does not like romance. But I actually like Hiccup and Astrid's relationship. And like Hiccup says in the in the One Race to the Edge episode, Me and Mori Wing, he says that. Him and Astrid have a different kind of relationship built on years of friendship, which... Now, the book actually only takes place over about three and a half years instead of five... Seventeen years... Fifteen years, approximately. Um... Yeah, just 15 years. So, 
yes, they're friends, but I could see, you know, if, if there was more books written, maybe when he was growing up, these guys maybe be married or maybe somehow having feelings for each other. It, yeah. But also, finally, I found out Kamikaze is only in books 3 to 12. Therefore, she's not in the first and second book. And Astrid, there are two episodes that she is not in. I know one of them is a view to a squeal part two, and I don't remember what the second one is. So, for the relationship to Hiccup, I'm going to give that a tie. Because they're both great. I like that maybe they, they did put a love interest in there. But I also like his relationship with Kamikaze as a friend. So I'm just going to mark them. Okay. Next up. Is epilogue. So pretty much the end of the character's story. For Astrid, we know that she marries Hiccup and they have two kids. And as we can tell in the third movie, they lead Burke as chief and general because she's pretty much general of the army and second in command. But in Homecoming, it's Chief and Chiefess, so, yeah, yes, and now in the movies we usually know what happens with some characters, although for Epilogue I did give it the point to Snob out because we knew what happened with him, and I also gave it for the book Snob out, also Bookfish Thanks because I don't like the fact that he marries Roughnut. I think Alvin I gave to the books as well, Stoic, movie, even though I don't, yeah, and yeah, so, and for Kamikaze, she's just there, so, um, this point is going to Astrid, of course, now, um, difference between the franchise, it's, it's, the first movie is about Hiccup, but after that, it kind of goes away from Hiccup and kind of adds the other Dragon Mars in there, where the movies are books are just about hiccups so it makes sense why we don't know much about what happens to the characters at the end of the 12th book all right and lastly uh, i wrote it oh wait that means i got a point to astrid all right lastly is overall enjoyment now um astrid um doesn't isn't like it's not about rough not tough now where she is there for comedic relief although that if you saw the if you've seen race to the edge season four that episode the longest day then you were probably laughing your head off because of the way astrid's acting it's hilarious um and kamikaze she thinks she can do everything. Um, actually, her most annoying thing is that when she's sword fighting, she talks. So if you're sword fighting her, you get annoyed very easily because she's talking and sword fighting. And she is a blabbermouth multitasker, escape artist, and thief. And it, the books, there isn't really much, not really funny, but yeah, it, it, she makes it somewhat funny. So. Overall enjoyment, this one is also going to be a tie. And like I said, um, the comparison card, those are the facts. But the this part that I'm doing now, this is the opinion. This is my opinion. You might think that Astrid is better than Kamikaze. You might like them both. And like I said, you might like the movies better than the books, or you might like the books better than the movies. You don't have to be like me, but I like them both equally. Alright, so, that means that it is therefore 3-2, which means Astrid wins. But, I like both these characters equally good. I like them equally as much, which is very unusual, because if you know... The first episode I did, the first episode was not about, I said it was the books for Fish Legs. I think I also said the books. Alan the Treacherous, I said the books. 
think stoic, I said movie, same with gobber. Which means that therefore it's still a tie, but like I said, the points don't really matter. Alright, so that is going to be it for this video. Please be sure to give this video a like, subscribe, comment down below which character you like better. And if you've only seen one, that's fine. Um, hit the notification bell, and stay tuned for tomorrow where I compare Toothless and Toothless. That's another thing. Um, these names are actually somewhat, are somewhat similar, like Snop Out, Fish Legs, Omni Treacherous, Gobber, and Stoic. It's somewhat different, like, oh, well, Hiccup and Toothless are similar as well, but somewhat different, like, Ash, Yudin, Valka. Yeah. Alright. See you.